Welcome back everybody. I'm going to do a quick video here on a arcade cabinet, a mini arcade cabinet I'm building for a RetroPie. Basically, I got an old, oops, an old DVD, uh, in-vehicle DVD screen I picked up at a garage sale. So that's, that's going to be my display. For the older games I intend to have, uh, that'll be fine. Uh, but so I designed up uh, some 3D printed uh, parts for the arcade cabinet. This is the joystick. Um, this is the first version. These are the springs for return to center. The issue with this one is there's not really, you can't really see that well in here, but there's not really anything to limit the range of the um, joystick. So you can overextend the springs or just go like that. But uh, other than that, it's got good actuation of all the switches. So I'm going to just uh, go through how to put together each of these 3D printed parts. Basically I have a joystick and then various sets of buttons. So first we'll start with the joystick. The base here, as you can see, I have spots for um, a 6x6x5 six by six by tactile push button switch. So we'll just put a few of those in there quick. Um, you can get these pretty cheap on eBay. You need to straighten the uh, pins slightly. Just like that. They go right in here. Um, like so. And next end through. Okay, once you have all those guys in, you have your what I'm calling the actuator. It rides basically on that little part that sticks up there. Um, you can see how it's going to work. Oh, I've got a couple of these are printed. Okay. Basically this is the, I believe I called it the shaft. <laughs> oh, that doesn't go too bad. Once it's together it's really hard to get apart. We'll just put that right there. Okay, this is my new improved top piece. The first one was flat. This one's improved in a couple ways. One has these blocks here to limit the range and these to align it over the holes. I'll just slide that on. It's actually a little snug of a fit. Make sure we're in the right spot. I just kind of squeeze it all together. Yeah. Make sure those are all together. Alright, so here we have this piece. Now for the springs, I have this piece here that attaches the springs. Basically just slides on over this like so. I didn't trim off my excess there after printing. But. So the springs, you're thinking how do they stay in place? And it's really quite simple. They just kind of pinch right into this and they stay. Just snap it together. Once they're in place, they're staying pretty good. For some reason there's always one that gives you trouble. So we just kind of snap all these together. When you print the springs, you got to be very careful getting them off the off the print mat so you don't rack them. So it'll just slip right on here. And your life will be easier if you spent a few moments and pre-tapped it for your screws just by screwing them in and out. I didn't, but that's all right. So when you're screwing these in, I like to leave them just a hair loose so the spring can move just a hair on the base. Let me show you in a second here. So what I mean by that is I like to leave them just a hair loose so it can pivot a little bit. I'll just tighten it down and then loosen it a hair. Tighten it down, loosen it. Then you have your joystick. Oh, 
last but not least, you have to have a little ball on top. There's a notch in the ball so you can see which way it lines up. So again, I'm not going to push that all the way on right now because it's very difficult to get back off. And once you put that on, you can't take that off. So My arcade cabinet is going to be a two-player one. All right, well, let's take a look at the switches. Pretty straightforward. Uh, it's basically the same configuration for uh, tactile push buttons. Just push them through the holes there. Uh, one just fell out. In this case, this one's going to be the coin and multiplayer buttons. It's going to go right in like that. They have a notch on the top to line up. Probably a little easier to put them in the top first. So we're going to line up. The notch in the. There we go. This will be simply glued or welded in place with a uh, 3D printing pen. And, uh, those will be the player buttons. Same thing for the smaller buttons. Uh, I'm just doing two buttons for fire and whatever. Uh, these are not keyed, so they can go in anyway. Come on now. Just some simple buttons. Once again, just be glued together or, or welded. And that is basically the plan for my mini arcade cabinet. Thanks for watching. I expect probably when I'm done I'll have an update on this. If you're wondering, this one, I want these pegs on the sides here. So I can line it up different ways. So, uh, like you would have, to, you'd have to turn it this way to play games like um, Cubert properly. But then this way for all other games. So I'm kind of I want to make it so I can turn the joystick. Thanks for watching.